Hey, Dave Oslin here, doing a short, quick video on a new Woodmax flail mower. For several years, actually for about 20 years, I've had the six foot rotary mowers. They do a good job. Sometimes I'll go over two and three inch branches, just chew them up, butcher my way through that stuff. But even cutting grass, the, the rotary mower just kind of knocks it down and lays a, leaves a thatch on the ground. I'm interested, since I've got most of my heavy brush cut, now I'm just mainly cutting the, the small weeds and the grass that grows up here on the acreage. I wanted to get a flail mower. I didn't get the hammer type because hammers will chew the stuff up, the bigger stuff up, but I don't really need that anymore. I've got more of the mowing type. There are three little blades on each set. There's about 20 sets in here. And um, so that's what I got. Um, I do like it, okay? Woodmax, I really like this company. I bought uh, a chipper from them. And you know, they're just straight up folks to deal with. They're not giving you a bunch of BS salesman stuff. They actually know the product they're selling. I did have a couple little issues with this when I bought it. The two hydraulic lines come off, came off of here. They're actually leaking at the, very leaking uh, slightly at the crimps. I called them, they sent me new hoses out, no questions asked. And all of us have had this situation where you buy something, whether it's a new car or whatever, and there's an issue with it, right? And you go back to the people that sold you to, and they don't want to give you the time of day. Yeah, go buy a car from the dealership or the stealership as one of my buddies calls them. But anyway, these guys took care of me right on the spot. Makes all the difference in the world having a good company to deal with. Most of their equipment is actually built right here in the good old USA. You can't say that about a lot of stuff nowadays. Now, unfortunately, this particular model was made in China. I asked them about it. I kind of winced and cringed because I'd rather buy something from here. But most of their stuff is made here. Now, some of you may know I'm a welding instructor at a local junior college. There are two to 300,000 welding jobs going unfulfilled in this country, right? If you're a young person, you don't wanna be sitting in a cubicle for the next 20, 30 years of your life, and you like working with your hands, you like doing stuff, just a little thing, you might consider getting trained in welding, getting certified in welding. You'll have a job that you like, and uh, you know, you can get outside and do work out here, but there is work for you. Anyway, Woodmax was telling me they're having, they line up, love to build everything they can in the States. They can't find the welders to do it. So, little tip there. Anyway, I like this, I like this uh, mower. This was rated at 30 horsepower. My Kubota tractor is at 33 horsepower, but it's rated at about 27 horsepower at the PTO. This was a little big for this tractor but I wanted to get something wider than the tractor itself. And honestly, 90% of the time, this tractor will pull this no problem. Once in a while, I have to drop it in a lower gear to go slower or juice it up. But otherwise, it's performed great, easily serviceable. I'll walk through some of the little grease points to it. So, they've got some little easily service greaser, greaser, any place they tell you, you need to grease things up here. This will be shipped without oil in this transfer case, okay? I opened this up, I topped it off with some 80-90 gear oil. I ran it for an hour, so it was a little low. I capped it off again, ran it for several more hours. It's never moved, so it was probably just blowing some air out of there. Anyway, great little unit. The one complaint, if I have anything that I could kind of talk to Woodmax about, is on the PTO shaft, I had to cut it down, which is normal. So you pull the sleeves off and cut it down. On the clutch in here, normally on that PTO, you have a little pin you can push in and slide that yoke off and on. This one, you actually have to climb down under the tractor. It's got a screw in pin, kind of a pain in the butt. Instead of a, you know, five, 10 second job, it's a, you know, you're almost down there groveling around in the dirt for 10 minutes to change it. That's the only complaint I have on this thing. But otherwise, I like the performance. They shipped it out to me free. And I don't, I'm not getting any money for doing this thing. They actually did send me a hat when I did the chipper thing. But anyway, I like the, I like the ability for this unit to slide back and forth. You know, I don't use it all the time, but once in a while, 
you can take this, when you're mowing, you can take this and slide it two feet out to the right or left, and it helps you get in close to something that your tractor actually won't get to. Um, otherwise, cuts great. The one thing as far as maintenance goes, now I run these things hard. I run them hard. I get down dirt, I get down and I wanna, I wanna, uh, you know, cut these things down to the nubs. You can see the, 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 mo the blades on there. After about 12 hours, a lot of those were, were, were pretty worn. My old rotary mower, I could get on there in about 10 minutes with an angle grinder and clean the blades up. This, I actually had to unbolt every set there. It took me about two, good two, two and a half hours to unbolt them all, take them over to my grinder, clean the blades all up and reinstall them. So there's a bit of maintenance on, on that. But again, I say, I'm not mowing, I'm not doing, uh, you know, a golf course or something. I'm running this thing down and I'm, you can kind of see out here on the property here, I'm running this stuff right down onto the nubs. I don't want to have to be mowing this again, you know, so I'm running this machine hard down into hitting the dirt and the crap in there. So I'm hard on the blades. Part of that's me. So I'm continuing with my uh, review of this new flail mower from PowerMax. Listen, if you haven't got the hydraulic set up for this thing to tilt it this way and that way, you really want to have it. For instance, on this one, I can move this left to right, right? This is an option you might want to have. I don't use it all the time, fairly often now. Check this out. I can tilt this thing this way and that way. Another good feature to have. You gotta have the hydraulic set up. Same thing here. I can set it up this and that way. So this little setup here for a mower or any implement you're gonna run on a tractor is worth its weight and go. Okay. <sighs> Halfway between a 21 millimeter and a 13 sixteenth. Man, oh man. Good day at a factory. Put some burly boy on these things and tighten them up. Got a 20 inch bar on that thing. these this whale mower i love it chops everything up really good and fine but definitely a, a a frame time frame in here getting these blades out and sharpening them up so here's a close-up of one of these blades i just took off you can see the leading edge is ground rounded off somewhat See the end of it here. Here's the back side compared to the unused side. So I've got to sharpen that thing up. And uh, yeah, I'll kind of follow the curve of that blade so I don't have to grind the tar out of that thing and remove too much of the, the steel out of it. My belt, here's my belt grinder set up. Blow some of the dust off it. But I'll tell you, I use this belt grinder for so much stuff. Anything from sharpening blades to actually making knives. Anytime I'm grinding, if I'm fabricating with a bunch of metal here, you know, every time I cut a piece, I want to bevel that edge before I assemble things. So my welds sit down in there. This is the tool of choice right here. It's a sweetie.
I cleaned up some of the thick paint off these bolts so everything would match up a teeny bit better. The wrenches are either too loose or too tight on this bad boy. Again, obviously I'm switching these around. So I'm getting you know, wear on the unused portion of the blade. So they kind of eventually balance each other out. I will probably order some backup blades. You know, I hit, you know, I was hitting something rocks. I hit a couple chunks of rebar. I live on a piece of property that before I bought it, you know, everyone, the neighborhood considered it their private dump. Untold transmissions, flywheels, boilers, untold use tires, all kinds of crap off this place. Let's clean it up. It's a beautiful piece of property, but you know how humans are.